Eliza Flor Malino is about to set the Miss Universe Philippines 2020 stage on fire. Currently, she is the girl to beat in this competition. She waited for this chance since Binibini to try it out again. This might just be her last plunge into the pageant scene. That's why she's not leaving any stones unturned of five years in the making. What holding many Filipinos back is her communication skills. Probably, it is not as fluid as Catriona Gray. However, she can and she is capable of holding a sensible conversation. She has an authentic Filipino English accent which I don't really mind. To compensate for that, she is a banging buddy, a dusky Filipina beauty, top-notch passarella, and an advocacy that empowers the farmers. This might be the kind of platform that may not get the nod of everyone, but still, it doesn't only empowers her, but the people in general because it helps the agricultural community to thrive and sustain our staple needs. This may not be the cookie cutter type of advocacy, but it is impactful. Let's see how she progresses in the coming month. Hopefully she gives this as the girl to beat. That's it. That's all you really yeah, need. Exactly. You don't even have to have a pose. You just stop and look. There. And you're done. She looks modern. Yes. Yeah. It's very contemporary, you know, that that Hi. Smile with your eyes.
my personal favorite <laughs> Davao city, Eliza Malinao. Malinao. Eliza. One thing I love about her is that we have a very similar haircut, actually. Yeah. And a few people sent. When I say a few, there was actually several people that sent me her profile, her photo. I think she is so beautiful, an absolute standout. Mm -hmm. At this point, she is my personal favorite for the Miss Universe Philippines crown. Monica Takis, what do you think about her being the girl to beat? Please don't forget to comment down below, hit that like and notification bell, and subscribe to my channel if you like this video.